Hello children. Today we are going to learn the third lesson of grammar, noun and its types. What do you mean by noun? You know, noun is a naming word. Noun is a name of a person, place, thing or animal. So noun we can say it as a naming word. Today we are going to learn its different types. Okay. The first type of noun is common noun. Types. Common noun. In the name itself we can understand a noun given to a name, place, animal, thing in common to one kind that is common noun. In the textbook we can see it is the name given to all the persons, places, animals, things of one kind. For example, city, girl, boy, like that. City, girl, boy. Okay, the first type is common noun. The second type of noun is proper noun. Second type of noun is proper noun. Proper noun means a noun that a name given to a person, place, thing or animal in particular. That is proper noun. Second, it is a name given to a particular person. Place, animal, thing. Okay. For example, in common noun we wrote city. If we giving city the name as Mumbai, then it is proper noun. Mumbai. So, we can say Mumbai is the example for proper noun. We are giving that particular city a name. Okay, the first one is common noun, second one is proper noun. Then the third one is collective noun. The name itself, we can understand collective noun is name given to person, place, thing or animal in a group, in collection. The lesson that we learned, a dog who found a master himself, no? From that lesson, we learned a herd of cows. A herd, herd means group. So, collective noun, the third one, it is the noun, name, given to group of similar person, similar thing, similar places. Okay, that is collective noun. So, here we can write third one is collective noun. For example, a herd of cows. Herd. Herd. It's a group of cows. Then the fourth one is abstract noun. The fourth one abstract noun. The fourth type of noun is abstract. This noun we can't see or touch. We can feel only abstract noun. For example, love, affection, honesty, sincerity. Like that we can feel only 
we cannot see or touch that is the fourth type abstract noun abstract noun is a name given to a quality feeling ideas example childhood bravery etc childhood bravery then the last type is so the fifth type of noun is material noun fifth type material noun what do you mean by material noun material noun means a noun that is given to a particular substance or material that is used for making things got it substance or material that is used for making things for example iron copper silver gold glass etc these are examples for material noun okay iron silver so these are the five types of nouns the last one is material noun material noun it is a substance or a material it is used for making things this window is made of glass what is the material noun there glass iron is a very useful metal okay so these are the five types of nouns so i think you have understood different types of nouns so now all of you take your textbook and read lesson 3 noun and its type okay and go through all the examples for each noun for better understanding okay i hope you will read it so we shall meet on the next class thank you children have a nice day